Yeah. Here in Munich, the beers are humongous. When you move here, um, what were like the, let's say like four or five things uh, that you totally didn't understand about Germany? Maybe like some things you totally did wrong because okay. that's how you do it in America, but now mm -hmm. here in Germany, you completely do it the other way. Okay. Um, one thing that really surprised me, at least here in Munich, I don't know how it is in the rest of Germany, but like, I saw a lot of times that people would like yell at someone if they didn't think they were doing the right thing. <laughs> like I've heard from people who Sounds have kids German. that if someone is pushing the kid in the stroller and someone else thinks that the kid isn't dressed warmly enough or it's too warm, <laughs> they'll like, hey, you need to put more clothes on that kid or something like that. Or like, um, you know, now did they scream I, at you? Well, yeah, so like for the bike wrong? lane. The, oh, you know, when don't, you get no, out of the no, car. Yeah, that, that, that's that's <laughs> When you limits, get so. out of the car and you, you get the car is parked on the street and you get out of the car and like you have to go from the car over and then sometimes there could be a biker and sometimes the biker's even going in the wrong direction yes. and they still have yelled at me. They were going in the wrong direction. Yeah, bikers can be assholes. So yeah. I feel like I had the right to actually <laughs> yell at them because that also I've seen people like get yelled at for biking in a wrong direction. But I understand that you need to bike in the right direction because it makes mm -hmm. sense. But it's the yelling at that yeah. I had never experienced anywhere else. This like vocal, you know, correcting. Yeah, but that's kind of a fight between yeah. cyclists uh, and then People go by car and okay. pedestrians. So oh, so there's, uh, there's, I didn't there's know a three way okay. fight actually. The worst thing I once said, you know, we got some time. So, <laughs> one thing uh, I always wanted to tell that story is like, I'm on the bike lane, I drive around the bike lane. You're on some, your bike. Some, I'm on my bike. Okay. There's some guy on the left side of the bike lane, just stands there. And like, he's not moving, he should be fine. Suddenly, his dog walks past the ah. bike lane. And he's got one of these, 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 these yeah, the, exten the yeah, leash the that extends. Leashes, yeah. So he was on the left side of the bike and his dog was on the right side and the uh -huh. leash was just across <gasps> the bike lane. And it was a small leash, uh -huh. so I, you know, I couldn't really see it. Yeah. But then I was like, wait, that's the guy, that's the dog, <gasps> where's the leash? The, a break. We're like, oh my God, yeah, this could have ended yeah, badly, but, either for me or for the dog, yeah. because we're a small dog, so might have just pushed him back yeah when I through. that's a dangerous uh, situation yeah. that's uh, definitely that that was the one time i yelled at someone okay. like usually i'm more like just like inside myself and like asshole in that situation that could have really caused you harm yeah. that really could have caused you you know harm but like let's say for example i've seen people i learned pretty like right when i moved here i learned that you wait for the crosswalk light to turn green like mm -hmm. you wait you don't walk over red is that the second thing though <laughs> so the second thing well kind of going along with this yeah so in florida where i'm from you just look both ways and then run over the street yeah. like that's just sort but of you how know you, do you it. can lose your driver's license here if you do that so, or is it just a rumor i don't know is, that's do you what know i've that? heard as yeah. well that's what i've heard yeah. as well but yeah, the yeah. interesting thing is that I think is very interesting is that going along with this like yelling at thing that if someone decides to go over red I've often seen someone yell at them so this wasn't causing that person any harm you know this... it's because of the kids kids <laughs> might see you There's and then you're a bad example, yeah, for, bad the kids. example yeah. for the kids yeah actually the other day I saw someone go over red yeah. and this 11 year old boy said He's setting a bad example for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how we. Like, oh grow my up. gosh! Yeah. So, so yeah, I would say with, but, but now, all of that goes out the window. And I said this in the video as well. The the seven things yeah. you don't do in Germany. All of that goes out the window if your tram is coming. I've seen the same little old lady <laughs> that just yelled at someone 30 seconds before. <laughs> book it across the street because her tram was coming and, and then everyone's like well of course i mean the train the tram is coming yeah. so and then it's like everyone seems to excuse it i've seen that so many times yeah, and i yeah. think that's amazing that like if the tram is coming wow well,
Yeah, because we want to be on time. Right. You know, Germans, and if we try to be on time. Uh, yeah. yeah but so the punctuality be... then, like, is more important. It's more important than, than the, waiting the at a red light. light. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, another thing that you were... Uh, um, I guess I was really shocked. So right now we're sitting at a beer garden mm -hmm. and I couldn't believe it when I found out that you could bring food to a beer garden. Here in Munich, it's really like, that's the rule. You can bring food. At least in Munich, the definition of a beer garden, I think I have it right, is that you've got to have the stones on the ground Yep. Mr. German, Mr. I got it, I got yeah. it, Mr. Stones German. Like stones this. on the yeah. ground. Yeah. So, beer garden is stones on the ground, Castanian Bäume. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Castanian is, in, but just some trees. Shady trees, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, shady, yeah, shady trees. trees. Yeah. You've got tables that are like with benches, like picnic style tables, and then you're allowed to bring your food. Hmm. And that's a beer garden. Yeah. And it came from in the old days when the breweries had the beer under the ground and they put the stones over it and they put shady trees to keep the beer nice and cold. Mm. And then they were like, hmm, this is actually a lovely place for some tables. Why don't we set up some tables here? So they set up some tables and they started selling the beer. But of course now the brewery could sell that beer for super cheap because it mm. was coming from right below the ground. Yeah. And so the restaurants in the town were like, hey, this is not fe fair. This is not fair at all. <laughs> And so the whoever was in charge at the time said, okay, the breweries can do that with the beer only if they let everyone bring their own food. Sounds and so thus today, you still have the beer gardens hmm. here. I didn't know that, but uh, yeah, so maybe someone can actually explain it to us in the comments if that's correct, because- <laughs> Yeah, um, was that just complete no, bullshit? No, no, I, I, right? I can totally, that, that would be so German if there would be a law for that, um, that, you know, you have to allow people to bring your food because- I think that, that's how there it must, is. Maybe there is a law and that would be so German. But then again, I think what, what I talk about, like uh, there are, might be beer gardens where you cannot bring it because um, they might not belong to the brewery itself. So it might be like, because in a broader term, we have, beer gardens mm -hmm. which are not from the brewery so it's like maybe it might be a, a a restaurant or just a pub that also has yeah. a beer garden and then of course um, they sell it for their normal price and then yeah. they also want to sell you food so but here now we're in the augustina beer garden no not sponsored at all um it's a good beer though <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah you can bring your own food i didn't mm -hmm. know that so i could have saved my 10 euros 50 for that what did you get pork roast thing schweinebraten okay which is like 7.90 in Nuremberg, by the way, much cheaper. Oh, oh, uh, speaking yeah. of beer, that's another thing that shocked me. Yeah. Here in Munich, the beers are humongous. <laughs> can, yeah, my girlfriend says you can swim in them. They're yeah, so they are yeah. so huge. Yeah. So it's a liter beer. I tried to get a small one here, they don't have it. Yeah, yeah. so half a when I yeah. first came here to Munich, I was only here for a week. I was living in Prague and I came to Munich for a week and um, yeah, you know, I ordered a beer and I thought like, okay, in Prague, the beers are like normal sized beers. <laughs> and then the beer came and it was huge. And I was, I was really shocked. Yeah, maybe the other thing is like, what about the times that you actually see people drinking beer? Is that different to, to the US? Because oh, today, yeah, I was like 10.30 in the morning on the train. Some guy comes in with a stroller with uh, two kids in there and he's got the beer in the hand. I thought you were going to say the stroller was no. full of beer. No, no, no. Kids, the kids beer. and he just drank the beer. Yeah. Like, that's the other thing. That's so German. Drinking beer out on the street or in the yeah. park. I've that's seen fair. I've seen restaurants that have a walkthrough window where you can buy cocktails and like take them to go. Oh yeah. And at least from what I remember in Florida, like that's why they always talk about brown bags because you're not yeah. allowed to drink openly. Yeah, that did shock yeah. me um, to see people on the U-Bahn drinking yeah. at 11 o'clock in the morning or... Yeah. To be fair, in some places um, they restrict that now. I think in Berlin, uh, you're not allowed to drink on the U-Bahn Yeah, anymore. there's a not, sign, not but sure. I still see the people. <laughs> yes, yeah. I there's think a sign. That, that's the other thing. I think also like in Nuremberg uh, at the... Technically, I think at the train station they want to ban it. And also like there are some areas in the inner city, also like around the castle, technically where you're at. Okay. At the weekends after 
10 p.m. or so, you're not allowed to drink anymore. Okay. And then the explanation, I think, was quite okay. They kind of said, like, they won't enforce it mm -hmm. un un unless someone you're really causing makes a trouble. Problem. It's causing trouble. Because they have no legal right before. It's like mm -hmm. someone is drunk, causing trouble, and then they, yeah, we can't do anything because he doesn't do anything wrong. Okay. And now they can say, hey. You're doing something wrong. You're you're annoying others yeah. and you drink beer so you know, go away yeah but so another thing that i noticed is with the bachelor and bachelorette parties speaking of <laughs> drinking out in the open so in america um basically for bachelor and bachelorette parties it's pretty much just a night of wild partying like you go out with your friends and you go to bars and you drink at the bars because again like drinking open in a lot of places in the u.s is not allowed hmm. whereas here at least in munich and i think in other parts of germany yeah mr german man is from cologne <laughs> i've seen it there too oh, they, they don't have, have beer in cologne <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, I'm not getting in between this. Fine. Like, um, for the bachelor and bachelorette parties, the people go downtown and they, they drink just downtown, right? Yeah. Like they bring their, their drinks with them. They sell them. you shots of. Uh, and, right, so yeah. that's the thing. They bring shots, but also just like crap, like bouncy yeah. balls yeah. and slime. I take and, the shots usually. And just all sorts of stuff. <laughs> and they sell it to you and i've been told that that money is going to go to the wedding i've been told that that <laughs> money is going to go to pay for drinks later that night i've i've been told that money's going to all sorts of places i'm guessing it's going to pay for drinks later that night most likely yeah, so and yeah. they get all dressed up in like really embarrassing costumes like they make i know for bachelor parties they make the groom dress up in something really embarrassing yes some sometimes yeah so like, usually that's the groom like different in a baby costume or something so, so, yeah. whereas in the u.s it's like the groom and the bride are like the ones celebrated like they should have the the best time at the party not the one that has to like mm. dress up really embarrassing and get yeah. made fun of and stuff you know it's like that's sort of the groom's party okay so i think we've done like <laughs> five topics or more and now they were all kind of uh, alcohol together. related kind <laughs> of i think uh, we didn't mention one thing now we talked about alcohol a lot uh -huh. but the drinking age thing is oh also yes different. that's oh, yeah, yeah yeah that's a big difference yeah. yes so it's uh is it still 21 in the years as far as yeah, i know 21. it's 21 Good. and they card you until i think it's like they need to keep carding you until you look like you're 45. mr yes. german shaking yeah. his head yes he always gets carded so yeah it's like Drinking age is 21, but they will keep carding you until you look really old. Yeah. Like, until they can know for too. sure. Um, whereas yeah. here in Germany, I've never been carded. No. Because the drinking age is 16 for I beer, right? I think it's 16 for beer and 18 for strong uh, liquor. Anyway, we, we've talked a lot about alcohol and uh, Germany, and, but at least I think You've stayed here for like seven, eight years now, you yeah. said? The, so, so you think you like it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah uh, I like it. Diana's gonna stay here. Uh, I'm gonna stay here for now, I hope. Um, I hope you're gonna stay at my channel and also visit uh, Diana's channel. It's called Wanted Adventure. I'm gonna link to it in the description again. And yeah, thanks for the time, Diana. Yeah. You're also, also welcome in Nuremberg at some point if you yes. want to come to Nuremberg. Thanks, Diana. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. See ya.